is going on everybody welcome back to tpa if geek and today we have a brand new model mat for our coco beach florida international airport we got a new mat from now on uh this will be a permanent model airport fictional one um once all the collection is into it it would just be left like that you know there's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit of an, like a normal airport you know taking rotation between my collection and all that but before we do get on to more information, I do want to ask you to please like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notification bell, so you'll be notified every time I upload brand new content and you don't miss out on anything. So right now we are here at Cocoa Beach Airport um, and our new mat, which the unboxing already came out, so I highly recommend you check that out. I got this from Layover Layouts. Oh my god, this is one of the best mats that I have that is so permanent. I love it. So with that, let's get right into this airport update because it's a really nice airport update today. Starting off here at gate number 10, right here we have a JetBlue Airways Airbus A320 in the Airbnb Y livery. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Jet New York JFK after arriving in from New York JFK. Next up at gate number 9, getting the gate uh, attached, getting worked with the gate. We have a WestJet uh, Boeing 737-800. Uh, this aircraft uh, has just landed in from Calgary and it's just pulled into the gate. That's why the jet bridge is getting worked with to be pulled into the aircraft. Moving here into the Southwest Airlines section, right here we have a Southwest Airlines brand new model, Boeing 737-700 in the split scimitars in the heart livery. This aircraft is doing a service uh, in from Houston and he's going to be doing the return flight out to Houston, uh, Houston Hobby Airport. So up at gate number seven, we have a Southwest Airlines Canyon Blue Livery Boeing 737-800 with splits. This aircraft has landed in from Atlanta, Georgia and, uh, about 45 minutes ago. He's about getting ready with, he's already loaded 15 of the 87 passengers. He's taking right back up to Atlanta. So he was, should be scheduled to depart in the next 20 minutes. Right here at gate number seven or number six, uh, here there's actually gonna be uh, three stands, two like uh, horizontally and then one vertically on the left or yeah, on the right side um, depending where you're looking at it from uh, but yeah one of them one vertical will be on the right side and two uh, horizontal will be in the um, sorry left side so right here we have a Silver Airways ATR 42-600 this aircraft is going to be heading, just came in from MCO about 10 minutes ago, the passengers are already off, and he's going to be heading out to Savannah, Georgia, which is the new service. He will be heading there in about an hour, 15 minutes. Uh, the airplane is getting ready, and they're also giving time in Georgia to get celebration ready and everything for the flight to head out, and there will be an inaugural service. Moving to the rest of the gates, which are already in the uh, much bottom side of the airport right here we have an american eagle ember e175 this aircraft is going to be heading uh, he came in from dca and he's going to be heading on a new service over to miami uh, which is about a 35 minute flight and it arrived in from dca which is about a one hour 54 minutes to our flight all right then right here pushing back out of gate four we have an american airlines boeing 737 800 in the one world paint scheme this aircraft is going to be heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth after arriving from Dallas-Fort Worth uh, 56 minutes ago. All right, then moving on to gate number three, we have a brand new model. Well, not, not brand new because we've used it in a few updates now. So you guys would have seen this model in other port updates and you would have also seen the unboxing of it. So right here we have an American Eagle Bombardier CJ 900 dropper by PSA. This aircraft is arrived in from Charlotte about uh, 35 minutes ago and he's going to be heading out to Charlotte again in about another 30 minutes. It has a pretty short little rotation here, but this flight is operated by PSA on the CJ 900. And then right here in gate number two, we have a United Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 series aircraft. This aircraft is uh, came in from Houston. Intercontinental, Intercontinental Airport and he's going to be heading right back out there in about an hour just you know chilling at the gate after deboarding about 25 minutes ago. 
And then right here, pushing back out of the very last gate, we have an Allegiant Airbus A319-100. This aircraft came in from Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport, and he's pushing back for a flight out to Houston Hobby on competition with Southwest. And moving into the taxiway right now, we have an Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900ER. Uh, this aircraft just landed in from Seattle about five minutes ago, and he's taxiing to its gate, um, which he should be there in a few minutes, which is the one that uh, Allegiant is pushing out of. So that one came in from Seattle, he's going to be heading right back out there. And then next up, taxiing to the gate, he's going to be going into the gate um, where the Southwest 737 is going to push out of. So right here we have an American Eagle E-145 over by Piedmont Airlines. And this aircraft has landed in from Philly and he's going to be heading right back out to Philly. Here we have the case of the Delta Bombardier Series 900 operated by David Air. He landed in 25 minutes earlier than scheduled. Uh, so right here we have a Delta Connection Series 900 LR operated by David Air. He arrived in from Atlanta. And he's going to be heading back to Atlanta in about 45 minutes. The reason he was told to kind of pull off and wait here in the gate section so the rest of the airplanes can continue the taxi and he could wait off till that American 737 finishes his pushback and then he can, you know, kind of continue, kind of go back into the taxi and come right into the gate. But this one, like I said, came from Atlanta, going to be heading right back out there. Okay, and next up right here already in the whole tour line right here we have a United Express Bombardier CRJ 200 LR operated by Air Wisconsin. This aircraft is going to be heading out to Cleveland. And right there, number one for takeoff on the whole shoreline. Right here we have a SkyWest Airlines CRJ 700 operated by American Eagle. He is going to be heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth, to arrive in from Dallas-Fort Worth. So there's two Dallas-Fort Worth services. Uh, the reason this one is leaving now is because it was delayed. This one should have been uh, at about 6.30 in the morning and it's now 8.45. And some three is scheduled to depart at 8.50. So, and this one was scheduled to depart about 6.30, 6.35. And it's delayed for two hours. So that's why both of the regional and the main line are going to be departing at the same time, almost. Okay, then right here lined up and getting ready. Uh, just waiting for clearance to complete its takeoff. Right here we have a UPS uh, Boeing 767-300 freighter. This aircraft is going to be making a freighter flight. Uh, up to up to Louisville after arriving from Louisville he taxied from that side right where that vacuum is at uh, that's where the car cargo area will be at hopefully so we have to get working on that with layover layouts to add that one cargo section and we'll have the cargo that UPS taxi from there and he is the first one for departure right now and he's gonna be departing over to Louisville right here we have the last aircraft of the whole airport update Right here we have Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Florida one paint scheme. This aircraft did pay us a visit. He is now leaving on its flight uh, out to Dallas Love Field after arriving in from Dallas Love Field. Uh, he was parked where that Canyon Blue 738 is. But as you can see, he is now lifting up and hopefully he comes back soon. But it's been a while since he, he's come. He only came into the airport when that inaugural flight happened. And that's it. I mean, uh, we've had other special deliveries come in once and those have been Louisiana one and Colorado one has came to and we've also had the classic retro livery but those three have come in the recent times and Florida one and Colorado one was the ones that came a while ago Colorado one did pay us a visit again in the last update but then here we have Florida again of it making uh, its second debut at the airport on I think this is like of a long time since it's been here about three months so welcome back florida one although you're now leaving over to dallas i hope um you have a great rest of your flights in life you will have a lot more flights hopefully you'll come to Cocoa beach uh once again but with that i would like to end this airport update right here so uh thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you guys did enjoy with the new map so many aircraft really hope you guys did enjoy i'm doing all of this for you guys so i really hope you guys did enjoy uh, if you did, please make sure to leave that one like right there, you know, that one comment will really, I will really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed yet, if you can subscribe, I'll highly appreciate that. But with that, please consider liking the video, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.
May Jesus bless all of you. Have a great rest of your day.